Speaking of gurus and spiritual masters, um, is there a particular uh, person that you've read recently that you really resonated with? Whether it be someone of decades or, or thousands of years ago or someone more current? Um, well, lately I've been reading a lot of um, uh, Hare Krishna related literature. Um, and in the, in the magical things that happen when you cast is there something here for me to re read or understand? I wrote my ex-girlfriend a letter, um, a man who actually grew up in Highland Park, just up the road where I live, uh, Radhanath Swami, I think is his spiritual name. Um, and unbeknownst to me, he'd actually given a lecture in Highland Park this past May, I had no idea. Anyway, I bought a book by him. He wrote a book about how he went to India and became a wandering sadhu in 1970 which you can imagine at that time was probably pretty unusual. Nineteen-year-old kid wandering through the forest in, you know, a loincloth and a begging bowl. Anyway, so he became a Hare Krishna devotee. And I wrote her this letter of things that I wanted to address that reading his book made me think that we needed to sort of clear the air more from my end than hers. And she wrote back and said, it's so funny, I'm reading the exact same book. <laughs> it's pretty good. That's pretty and she lives in Australia, so it's pretty good. And Other side of the world, yeah. right? Yeah. So, again, truth, let's take the Hare Krishna doctrine, uh, or the, or the, uh, the Vedic yeah. idea. It's pantheistic to the sense of they believe there's only one God, and then all the other deities, whether it's Ganesh or uh, Ram or whatever, are expressions of God. Right. So, there's nothing that I read as, as, a, as a, somebody who was raised Catholic, there's nothing I read in the Vedic religion that is at odds with whether or not I believe in Jesus Christ, you know? Because then, under that thinking, then there's many masters, and they're all leading you to the same Valhalla. So you being raised...